Welcome back to WCCF Tech TV everyone, it's Keith once again and today we're going to talk about the fact that several reports have surfaced over the past couple of days from users claiming to have unlocked shader cores or TMUs in their Radeon RX Vega 56 graphics cards by flashing them with the VBIOS from Vega 64. Many have also reported noting performance games after having done so. Well, sadly, we're here to tell you that flashing your Vega 56 to a Vega 64 V BIOS won't unlock any additional hardware in the chip, even if GPU-Z is telling you otherwise. All it does is boost the core and HBM speeds, which is why many people have reported noticing performance gains after having flashed their GPUs. GPU-Z has also been updated. It will now report the correct number of shaders and TMUs no matter what BIOS version you have. We even flashed our RX Vega 64 liquid cooled to the RX Vega 56 BIOS. Clocks changed, stream processor count did not. Gone seem to be the days when you could buy a cut down version of a high end AMD GPU and unlock the shaders and hardware goodies available when it's full fledged higher end variant. Now AMD's RX 484 gigabyte graphics cards were famously unlocked to 8 gigabyte versions with a VBIOS flash on launch day as we demonstrated with our retail version. Prior to the RX 480, R9 Furies were also unlocking to full fledged R9 Fury X's and before that R9 290's were unlockable to R9 290X's and there are even older examples if you can be bothered with looking them up such as the 7950 to the 7970 and 6950 to the 6970. As of right now, we don't know for a fact if AMD is lasering off the unused hardware in Vega 1056 DAWs or not, but so far there hasn't been any success in attempting to unlock a Vega 56 to a full-fledged Vega 64. Now it took months for folks to figure out how to do it on the Furies, and it may take months for it to happen with Vega if it ever does. Well guys, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. If you found the video entertaining or informative whatsoever, feel free to like, leave a like and subscribe and comment if you have any questions or, well, comments. And this has been Keith and we'll catch you in the next video.